Canoe sprint and canoe slalom may be the types of racing that most people have heard of because of the Olympics. But there's a different discipline that anyone could get into. And it's the backbone of flat water racing in clubs up and down the country. And that's canoe marathon. Unlike running, canoe marathon takes place over various distances from four miles for beginners up to 125 miles for ultra distances like the divisors to Westminster. So I've come to Elmbridge Canoe Club to meet with Ivan Lawler, five times world champion, so he can tell me a bit more about the sport. Ivan, canoe marathon isn't just a longer distance than canoe sprint. Tell me about what makes it unique. There's so many aspects of it that are unique. Basically, it's more like road cycling than it is marathon running. So there's a lot of tactical stuff, there's a lot of using the other competitors to get the best result for yourself. There's wash hanging, which is what you'll see them doing any time you watch a race, where one competitor uses the wave of another to gain an advantage. So essentially they've got their boat running downhill rather than uphill. And then one of the defining features is portaging, where a competitor has to get out, runs around an obstacle, traditionally a lock or something that stops you carrying on down the waterway, and puts it in again, gets in the other end. That's a big aspect of marathon racing. OK, portaging sounds interesting. Um, can you show me how it's done? I'd love to show you how it's done, but even better than that, we've got Lani Belcher with us today, and she's a professional, so she's going to show you how it's done. Brilliant. So we're going to do a pontoon portage today, and as you come in, you want to come in on a slight angle, and as your nose gets close to the pontoon, you're then going to use your support, and you're going to use the back of the blade to push the boat, the tail of the boat, into the pontoon. OK, so... so then you, and then you'll come to a stop. You'll then put your hand on the pontoon, and here, and then you'll pull yourself up to get out. Quickly? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so as Lani approaches the portage in a race, she'd be aware of the other athletes around her. No one here today, luckily. She'll come in around 30 degrees, just before she hits the landing stage, braking, braking, stop, holding onto the paddles, holding onto the boat, out beautifully. Keep coming in, keep coming in, keep coming in. Brace, brace hard, harder. Hold on. Bit of chaos. Oh, we can't get out. And we're facing the wrong way now. We're supposed to be going this way. And we're facing that way. I, I don't know what to say. Keep coming in. Keep coming in. And brace hard, hard, hard. Well done. Awesome. And on the front. Step up. Step out. Pick your stuff up and go. Not too bad at all. You got one more chance to get it right because we've got practice to getting in as well. So, round you go, don't muck it up. <laughs> okay, getting in bit, I've got a feeling. We'll bring, we'll bring Lani in on your wash this time, because that really complicates things. <laughs> come in, come in, come in, come in, brace, hard, well done, hold on to the paddle, hold on to the boat. <laughs> step up, step out, and off you go. Not bad. We're running along with our boat. Yep. What you do not want to do is put the front in the water. Ah. Because if you keep running, you go, oh, yeah. that happens. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. This is a big problem. So as you're running on a pontoon portage, the first thing you do, even before you want to get in, chuck the back in. Yep. Then I can run to my heart's content and ah. nothing will happen. Yeah. You're going to drop the back into the water. Yeah. Put it in the water here. Boat, paddle across the front of the boat if you can. Okay. You're alright, you're alright like that, that's fine. Get hold of the paddle, push off from the side, beautiful, and then go, look at that. Pro. Okay, time to put it all together. I think I'll let Lani go first. I have to say, watching Lani Portage really showed what a skill this is. She made it look effortless. Right, my turn. Coming in, coming in. By now, right. the approach was becoming second nature, but of course, there's much more to it than just getting the approach right when you're doing a complete portage, especially in a race. You have to think about executing your own technique, and if you have maybe 10 people around you all jostling for position, I can really see how this could make or break your race. There you go, not bad at all. Look at that. Oh, well, thanks, guys. I've really enjoyed it. Um, but honest opinions? Yeah, I think you did really well. Thank you. And Ivan? There's some positive signs. Let's think of it all as a work in progress. All right. A bit well, more practice, you'll be fine. Okay, well, I might have another go. Come in. Go on. Go wild. Oh.